in early 2018, I decided after looking at the options that I'd actually be installing a, a worm farm waste system for, uh, yeah, for our septic instead of a normal septic tank. In April 2018, the application to install got put into the local council and uh, the following images and videos sort of show that process from April 2018 through to September 2018 when the system was finally approved for use by council. So what you've seen is the truck as it arrives, it then unloaded the pipes and the components that connect the drain field. It then started to unload the tank and take the tank into position. As you can see here, it's quite a, a steep hill and quite a, a quite a difficult thing for the excavator driver to get the tank into position. At the end of day one, we hit rock about one and a half metres down into the septic tank pit. An excavator with a rock hammer was hired. Whilst that machine was delivered to site, good progress was made on the drain field. What you can see here is the two excavators working together. One with the rock hammers, you know, breaking the solid rock at the bottom of the pit and the excavator with the bucket is clearing the pit um, as you get any loose rocks. You can also see the drain field and all the chambers installed. Once the pit for the septic tank was excavated to depth, we also needed to work on a trench which would then connect the drain field through to the septic tank. Again we hit rock at about a metre deep. septic tank was installed in position, backfilled and it was connected to the drain field by the trench and pipes you can see here. All that was then left was to backfill all of the trenches for the drain field. So this is the end of pit number two, number one there, pit number two, pit number three and pit number four in the middle. So I'm going to measure this, so this is the end of the drain field, I'm going to measure that all the way through to the end, and you can see there there's easily 100mm of coverage, same there. And in the lowest spot that we've got, yeah, there's still 100 mil of cover there. I'm going to take this all the way through to the end. Like that. There. 
there is the end of the Drunkfield Trench and that is at just over 23 metres so four of those that takes us over the required 90 metres You see here is one of the drain pits. So the water flows in from the septic system through the top pipe. It then feeds out to the drain field in the pipe on the right. And when that drain field is full, after many years, the water will actually back up in the pit and then transfer through to the next pit, pit number two, then pit number three, then pit number four. You get a 10 year warranty with a complete system, but the drain field will last a lot more years than that. And when they're gone, this is what you're left with. As you can see, the system's installed, but boy, you're left with quite a mess that needs to be uh, tidied up after. <laughs>